One time, I saw a poster fly straight off the spike. But when I rode it, it didn't. But one time, it did. That ride was messed up. After the loop, the track just ended. It looked like the, the train could have fallen off. Does it look like I want to die? Does it look like I want to be in final destination? That ride is not safe. Tremble in fear as Yuri takes you up a staggering height of 325 feet and drops you at an 81 degree angle, leaving your stomach and your brain in the dust. At that point, I just started spitting off every curse word I knew. New for the 2015 season at Six Flags America, Great Adventure, Over Georgia, and Discovery Kingdom is a thrilling coaster, it's not a coaster. that is sure to make you lose your stomach and your phone. Like, really? How do you lose your phone at a super loop? Like, what? Were you taking a selfie on it? You wanted to ride an alpine coaster when you heard of how fun they were. Now drive down Ware's Valley Road and stop to ride the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster because it's the first one you see. And have no idea that there's a better one less than a mile away on the same street. You loved how at Dollywood you could ride the rides as many times as you wanted. Now gaze upon a coaster that will cost you $15 just to ride it once. You want me to eat it? Bush Gardens is Tempesto sauce. It's delicious. Well, what about a Mac multi-launch? No. Well, what can we add? A Vacoma SLC. Dang it. Well, Magic Cheeseburger's always right. You bet I am, you son of a- So, to entertain yourself while you wait in a line that's twice as long as it should be, take a look at the immersive theming. Does Six Flags really expect me to read all of that? What, you got something better to do? Oh, actually, yeah. Ride anything other than this. Blue Hawk? That doesn't reference anything. Sure, they painted the ride blue and all, but never in my life have I seen nor heard of a Blue Hawk. So either it's a mythological creature Six Flags ripped from Cedar Fair, or someone had way too much fun with a can of spray paint and vandalized a perfectly good bird. So what do you want to ride? Uh, we could ride the red and yellow one. Oh, you mean Intimidator 305? No, 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 the Nicki Minaj one. Oh, you mean the Anaconda? Yeah, that's the one. Um, let's not. I actually might have peed going over the first drop. Ascend the 200 foot lift hill. Uh, dude, it's 205 feet. Who cares? Uh, coaster boys everywhere. Ugh, this is why I hate coaster nerds. I decided not to ride Switchback today because one, it's a wood coaster and everyone knows that wood coasters are rough. And two, because the track just ends. Like, a car is probably thrown off at some point and I'd rather not die today. Raise your hand if you hate the GP. Come on, come on, come on, you know. Oh, okay, there we okay, go. Okay. Alright, good. I was given these directly from Cedar Point. They trusted me to carry out this project. Man, I'm trying to rob you. You're supposed to give in. Why do you got a spoon with you? Look. All my knives were in the dishwasher, so just give me the blueprints. Oh, fine. Here. You love Cedar Point's exhilarating rides like Raptor, Maverick, and Wicked Twister. Now board a coaster made of wooden boards that will leave you really bored. Think of all the poor trees that lost their lives because they built this abomination of a creation. But it won't matter, copycat. Always I'm gonna put some grass around mine. But if you put grass around yours, people won't be able to see it. Oh, who cares about that anyways? I think the people do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. And once you're finally into the station and believe you'll finally escape the irritating German lady, realize that you can never escape her, and you will hear her voice in the station as she delivers the instructions on how to ride. Which, I mean, you probably already know how to ride. So, you'll probably tune her out anyways. Hey, person, I'm person. Hi, person, I'm female. Hi, female. Oh, hey, this is my sister, sister. <gasps> Hi, sister. See, who does that? The only good that comes out of naming a roller coaster a roller coaster is that we actually know it's a roller coaster. It's not a coaster. Yes, it is. That wouldn't even make sense. Who would give a non-coaster a name that has coaster in it? Okay, excluding Six Flags. So let me get this straight. The park opens Gale Force a year late, and then it has the strongest rattle I've ever felt. Where is the logic in that? Seriously, you know you have a problem when your brand new ride is rough. What'll it be like in 10 years? Where will the coaster be then?
Ah, oh, that's actually kind of sad. I wanted to ride the Titan, but I couldn't find the stupid entrance because Six Flags doesn't have the name Titan over the entrance. I didn't know where I was. I mean, what the frick? That's not cool. Ah, the GP. Gotta love him. Ugh, my brain hurts. And I haven't even ridden it yet. Are you implying that it's rough? Because fake news. Lies. I'm offended. Well, Magic Mountain fanboy, I'm sorry you can't control your emotions. <laughs> What are we even doing here? It's time you learn your lesson. What lesson? Ah! <coughs> Board your bobsled, instantly making you feel bad for the Olympic bobsled teams because anything this uncomfortable should be illegal. But that's Disney for you. All about creating immersive experiences, no matter the cost. So if those bobsled teams are uncomfortable in that tiny little thing, then you can sure bet we're gonna recreate it. Okay, how about we just go back to the Jack Sparrow guy? Cause he was cool. If I would send you a blood, mate, you'll have to square with that one, mate. Knows what I mean? Yeah, now that's more like it. Let's go, Jack. Leave those seven old dudes behind. Seven dwarves and 50,000 tourists. Avoid waiting for it now. Man, I just stood in a 45 minute line, and now you're telling me that I gotta stand up on this roller coaster? <sighs> Gosh, what a hunk of- Ah, thank you! That's what I've been saying for years. I mean, who wants to stand up on a coaster? Exactly! I mean, if I wanted to get my groin smashed into a million pieces, I would hire someone to do it. Not ride the shockwave. <sighs> Thanks, Obama. And besides, they, uh, did add a new coaster. It's not a coaster! Oh my god! Walk up to the supposed to be black and orange coaster, which is now gray and orange, and walk through the elaborate apocalyptic queue, which is actually pretty sweet. I mean, the park probably only themed it to the apocalypse so they wouldn't have to do any landscaping. I mean, look at this. Rocks and dead grass that is somehow totally acceptable. I don't believe it. Six Flags, your goal to do nothing but the bare minimum never ceases to amaze me. Begin your journey to Marine Land only because you're likely planning on visiting Canada's Wonderland and thought you'd make a pit stop and ride Dragon Mountain. I know, I know, I'm getting there. But first, you must cross the border. <laughs> you just had to take out the top hat. Sure, I didn't want any airtime anyways. So I'll just go get on, uh... Nope, 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 nope. Definitely not. Uh, yeah, I'll just go to Nagashima. From the park that brought you old wooden roller coasters comes a newish steel coaster that will literally have no one talking. Skyrocket. No, not the Skyrocket 2. This ride was the original Skyrocket. You know, the one that everyone forgot even existed. Days in amazement when you walk up to Cedar Point for the first time and realize that you must walk directly under the gatekeeper's keyholes in order to enter the park. You haven't even ridden it yet, and already your expectations have begun to rise a lot higher than they should. Dive under yourself in an inverted drop, which will leave coaster enthusiasts trying to figure out exactly what the angle of descent would be. Because things like that are really important. I mean, that's a legit question. Is it a new credit or not? Oh, obviously it is. It's got a new train and it's a total new experience. Oh, no, see, I disagree entirely. I'm so done with these enthusiasts. I mean, we don't need roller coasters. There's plenty of other things you could do with VR, right? Whoa, it's like I'm watching TV. Whoa, it's like I'm in my car. Whoa, it's like I'm in the shower. Whoa. Like I'm in the NBA. Get to the front of the line and hope to ride at the front row, only to be directed to sit in the middle of the train by one of the park employees, whose sole job is to disappoint people. I drove four hours here. I should be able to sit in the front if I want. Like, what the heck? Not cool. I know, I hate that. It's so stupid. I drove five minutes here. I just want to sit in the middle, but they keep putting me in the front. What the heck? <sighs> suck. From the park that brought you okay rides like Batwing, Apocalypse, and Wild One comes another mediocre coaster that is one of the most generic and overused names of all time. Superman. Uh, it's called Superman Ride of Steel. Get it right. Now discover that the 2016 edition is also a clone, which annoys you since Great Adventure deserves so much better. This is what we get after 10 years without having a new coaster? Uh, what about The Dark Knight? Or Green Lantern. Those don't count. They don't? No. Well, at least you didn't get that Green Lantern. As you pull forward, make sure to get a good look at the stranger sitting across from you, because you can be darn sure they'll be judging you this whole time. 
start ascending up the vertical lift hill, which feels more like an elevator lift, really, because you're not facing the sky. West Coast Racers. Or as I like to call it, West Coast Delayers. <laughs> Yeah, if you thought I was going to wait to introduce the fact that this thing didn't even open in its opening year, you're wrong. Because we're jumping right in. So, none of them are anything alike? Great, that'll make this confusing. Hey, I love Goliath. Which one? The one has six flags, obviously. Okay, you know what? This is getting ridiculous. Because all of these stupid rides sharing the same stupid name, I don't know which one we're freaking talking about. <laughs> Last one. Oh, just kidding. There's one more and slam into the brakes. Wait, really? That's it? That's the best coaster ever. All it did was go up really tall, go really fast, and cover me in bugs. How on earth did that win the best coaster in the world? The world's first and only with a vertical loop. A 95 foot tall loop. Did you hear that? A 95 foot tall loop. I'm going to speak super slow and emphasize every single word. And in case you missed it the first time, it's got a 95 foot tall loop. Shut up! My gosh, shut up! What's up, guys? I'm sitting on Volcano. Guess what? We rolled back again. If you oh, look, I'm Coaster Studios, and I get rollbacks on Volcano all the time. Ha ha ha! Hooray for cool effects that never work. Well, it's a good thing it doesn't send out fire. Think of all that smoke that could be poking a hole in our ozone layer. Now prepare to be underwhelmed when you realize they're installing a dive coaster, which really doesn't do anything for their lineup. Ugh, shut up! A dive coaster is exactly what the park needed, because everything Cedar Point does is perfect. Oh, hello Cedar Point fanboy. Long time no see. Walk up the elaborately themed rock entrance sign and pretend that you're King Arthur attempting to pull the mighty axe from the stone, thus dubbing Invader the Chosen One who will bring balance to the park. Oh no, the track went out. What are we gonna do? The ride is broken. We're all gonna die. And now we're stuck. All that's left is, ah, we're going backwards. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. Uh... Now get ready, here we go. Did that guy just imitate me? Because he literally sounds like he's impersonating me. Am I impersonating him? Well, whatever it is, I could do a better job than that. Yeah, listen to this. Now get ready, here we go. Continue walking through the park over to the only ride you aren't ashamed being seen at. You know, it's a great ride, and as a coaster enthusiast, I love these kind of things. But it's a little awkward when everyone else around you hasn't even turned seven years old. Because of the rate Togos are getting scrapped, shouldn't be too much longer before this has got to go. I couldn't care less if they got rid of that thing. It's rough, it's uncomfortable, it's not fun. I say just get rid of it. Hold up, they can't take this down. Sure it sucks, but it's a Las Vegas icon. Well, what do you want me to do about it? They're either going to keep it or get rid of it. So which is it? I mean, we can't just close it and then leave it there because it looks cool. Who does that? Huh. From the company that clones basically every single ride, except for the really good ones, comes perhaps the best cloned ride ever made. From B&M. That's inverted. That's Six Flags. In, in the US. But it's still the best cloned ride ever made. Batman was awesome. I loved it so much, I bought the shirt, I bought the hat, I bought the mug, I bought the magnet, I bought the action figure. Thanks, Lagoon. Now, thanks to your stupid roller coaster, the price for jet fuel went up. Do you know what that does to the environment? Yeah, it kind of makes you wish the ride was at a park more people went to. You know where Cannibal would be a good fit at? Cedar Point. Cedar Point. How am I not surprised? I don't see what the big deal is. It's between 300 and 400 feet, so it's obviously a Giga. No, it has a launch. It can't be a Giga. So what? Dragster and Ka have launches and they're Stratas. So you're saying if a 400 foot tall coaster was built with a lift hill, it wouldn't be a Strata? No, it would be a Strata. Then why can't Red Force be a Giga? Because RCDB doesn't consider it a Giga. Yeah, but RCDB doesn't count Fury or Leviathan as a Giga, so your argument's invalid. Your mom's invalid. Your coaster count's invalid. <gasps> Good Gandhi, you guys are such nerds. Snowstorm, because when I see a white coaster, I think of snow, not deserts. You probably won't ever ride it at Castles and Coasters. Great idea, Dollywood. Not only are you offending minors, but also white male southerners. I mean, seriously, we don't all wear overalls. This is a very offensive ride. My brother was a miner, and mines are not all that mysterious. I am very offended by this ride. So if iron and steel are basically the same thing, does that mean there was a steel curtain across Europe during the Cold War? 
the Steelers would be proud. Sticker Man, you are up. <laughs> this one's got Peppa Pig on it. Hey, introduce yourself to Merlin. Wait, wait, wait. I found Daddy Pig. All right, what do you think of this shit? John Cena. Your mom. Another shot. Pants. Quesadillas. Son of Beast. Hillary. Hillary's emails. I don't know. Uh, maybe a Rake or a Garden Hell. Uh, possibly a wheelbarrow. I'm talking about what's in the shit on Mystic Timbers, not what's in the shit in your backyard. Oh, I don't know. What's in the shed? The Joker Free Fly Coaster. Eat it out! The rest of Adventure is for us. Cedar Point Fanboy. So, what's your favorite mid course break run on California? Ah! Um, I'd probably say the fourth one. It's exactly what I look for in every mid course break run. It's straight. Heck, it doesn't even do anything. And yet, I think every mid course break run should strive to be like the fourth one on California. Ah! I don't know why I haven't eliminated him sooner. He really should not have made it this far. He's just awful. You gonna finish that? Magic Mountain fanboy, what are you doing here? I've come to prove you wrong. You can't prove me wrong. I'm always right. Just like Cedar Point will always be better than Magic Mountain. Well, I see only one way to sell this. And what's that? The manliest thing I know. We'll compare coaster counts. Whoever's is higher, has more experience, and therefore is right. Sorry folks, ride's closed. Moves out front to the coaster. Allow the suspense to build before being brought onto a rinky-dink platform where your entire life has been put into the hands of someone you've never met before, who will attach you with nothing more than a carabiner. Seems legit. It's actually amazing that it's a decently long ride. And believe me, I know a lot of parks that should take some notes. <coughs> <coughs> Six flags. All right, all right, all right. I got one that you guys will love. Guarantee it. All right, go for it. I got him! The fan-made animations were just so much better. They had it as a dueling RMC. The park should have just gone with that. Oh, boo-hoo. You only get a normal RMC instead of a dueling RMC. You poor thing. Children dying in Africa. I mean, a ride this legendary, you know it has a strong cult following. Because when they like Voyage, they let people know. Yep, the time. The Voyage is the best roller coaster in the world. It's got the air, the speed, the 90 degrees. Not only that... Okay, okay, we get it. It's great. Oh, oh my gosh. They have those up there? You went to Canada. Canada doesn't have roller coasters. What That's is just in Canada? Canada's Wonderland? They have like a bunch of roller coasters and... More than four? Them? Levi Leviathan? What's a oh, Leviathan? No, it's from the Bible, isn't it? Oh, it's one of those Bible creatures. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Ah, Steel Vengeance, the only ride in the world where you might get hit by a flying phone, a flying seat backing hot sauce, or the other train. <laughs>